The suspects accused of robbing and killing 24-year-old Armani Allen outside the RTS bus station on St. Paul Street last week appeared in court this morning. That's right. Members of Allen's family were also there and had strong words about the incident. Alex Love joining us now live at the Hall of Justice with this story. Alex. That's right. 47-year-olds Ronald and Donald Brown are foes facing counts of second-degree murder charges. But for the Allen family, justice isn't good enough. They want to see better pathways to good education as well as people to get good jobs to avoid them from turning to violence on the streets in the first place. We don't provide resources for this group of young men. Close relatives left the courthouse calling Armani Allen a blessing for their family and a kind young man. Since the violent trend in Rochester claimed his life, they call for the city to think about each other before taking more lives. Within this cultural violence, we're taking ourselves out. We need to wake up. It's not anybody from the outside coming in right now. Looking at the age difference between Ronald and Donald Brown being in their 40s versus Armani only 24, the Allen family believes there's a lost generation in this city who lack access to quality housing at birth, then don't go to school or get a good job to stay out of trouble. These kids are lost. Our education system sucks. You're not preparing them to come out and be productive citizens, but we're demanding that they do. So until we begin to embrace our kids, we need to take these young men that's out here lost it's 11. Let's start them over. So to them, education is the best justice to ask for and stop the violence. Educate our city. That's justice. Because if you know, if you know better, then you can do better. So I think that's the real justice is education. Both Ronald and Donald Brown are due back in court on Friday. The Allen family also praised Rochester police for working, as they said, nonstop to find these, these suspects. And, and it was done by a multi-agency search, tracking them down in East Rochester. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8.